Welcome to a video on defining um, data charts for polygons. So I can create a polygon and color it according to data. So the data I've chosen is uh, just a simple grid, um, the 2-2, two, two, XY, 12-2, 12-8, so on. So I've defined this shape and I've defined it in um, an Excel spreadsheet. Um, 2, 2, 12, 2 for the X and Y, and I've given them an order number, you know, we'll need that later, and I've given it a name. So that defines the shape of one room. I've created other rooms which are mirror reflections of that room. So let's go ahead and uh, create this series of rooms and assign some data to them. So here in Tableau, we're just going to open up an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and here is the uh, file I just showed you. And in this case, um, the second tab uh, defines the data for the room. So I'm not mixing the room definition and the room data. So here's some data for, for a certain day, some other data for other days. So I just needed to uh, join that together before we start charting stuff. And I'm going to uh, link them on room, uh, the room name and the usage room. Okay, now we're ready to begin. So I'm going to put the X here and the X. We're going to draw these X and Y axes out. Um, and let's change this to average, change this to average. That I have no explanation for, but... Uh, um, and I'm going to change this to a polygon, and the um, point order is really key here, um, and it needs to be a dimension. And then we'll put something into the color. Uh, nope, okay. <laughs> uh, I meant to put it into the uh, detail. Uh, for color, we're actually going to put the occupancy. So if you remember these room definitions with the four rooms that are mirror Im images of each other, um, and notice the, uh, let's start playing with the, uh, the view. So the, these points are showing in the, in the um, tooltip, not quite necessary. So let's change that tooltip. We don't need these points here at all. Uh, we don't need the point order. Uh, the occupancy is completely sufficient. There we go. So no matter where we are, it shows the same tooltip. Okay, let's get some labels on these. Um, oh, in this case, what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a second chart. Um, and again, the, the average. Um, and we're going to have them share the same axis. And this second one, by default, is a polygon. But we're going to change it to uh, actually a text, textual kind of thing. And we're going to have them share the same axis, so we set the dual axis limit. Uh, we don't need point order for this text thing. I'm going to remove that. And we don't need the occupancy information at all. We just want the names. Oh, and the names are going to be um, the text. Uh, so, interestingly enough, you'd think if we plot out these X, Y axis for the uh, polygons and plot the X, Y axis for the average of the, simply the points of the X and Y, they'd be in a sense somewhere. Well, it turns out that the scale is different on our, on our new dual axis. Here it's 0 to 8 and here it's 0 to 12. So we're going to, in this case, we're going to synchronize the axes so that sure enough the average numbers are kind of place in the center. I'm going to change the color a bit so they're a little more friendly for our black uh, background. Let's just do that. There we go. So the darker the color, the darker the orange, the uh, more occupancy. All right, so now let's actually clean this up a bit more. Um, I want to remove all these uh, um, grid lines. So let's go to uh, Format, and you're going to go for lines here. So zero lines are going to make none for uh, for everything. Uh, grid lines are going to make none. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, I 
I even want to put a background on this because it is representing uh, rooms in a building. So I've uh, created this background image. So I'm going to fill in these. These essentially are hallways, and I'm going to put some decorative uh, front uh, uh, bushes and a sidewalk and a street. So I'm going to import that, but the um, building takes up that essentially that amount of space. So I need to make more room down here for the street and sidewalk to go. So I'm going to change the scale actually, and I'm going to edit the axis to change the scale uh, to be um, minus 18, I'm sorry, minus 18 and 12 at the top. And this, of course, stays synchronized because we have that setting. So now I'm going to set this uh, uh, image as the background. So I'm going to go to Map, Background Images. I'm going to load up load that one up. I'm going to set the uh, left and right to be minus 12 and 12, the bottom to be our minus 18, and the top to be 12. I don't need to keep the aspect ratio, I'm going to let that figure it all out. So here we've got kind of a nice, a nice uh, image with our data. And now I'm going to clean that up a little bit more. Um, I'm, going to I'm going to remove these um, titles and things. I, I never remember if it's format or edit axis, but I think it's edit axis. Um, so for ticks, we're going to have no ticks. And for title, we're going to have no title. Same with the bottom. Edit axis. Uh, no title. And no ticks. And again here. Oops. Uh, no title and no ticks. So that's looking pretty good. Um, so let's put that into a dashboard. So I'm going to make a new dashboard. I'm going to add that in. It's going to be tiled, but we'll uh, let's do some something down here and we'll resize it a bit. So I'm going to make a new sheet. And in this case, I just want to uh, show the occupancy per room. So I'm going to go uh, room here and occupancy here. That's kind of cool. Let's do one more. In this case, I'm also going to do the X and Y. And um, you can put room name into detail. Oh, notice it's um, it's got the background image here. So I need I want to get rid of that. I want to use the background image for sheet one, of course, but not for sheet three. So how do we do that? Um, the trick is, under the um, image definition, one of the options is only show when. So I can add a condition. But there aren't any conditions here that would be relative. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to define a uh, calculated field. I'm going to go use background. And all I'm going to do is make it true. So on this sheet, I'm actually going to use that. And in our map background, I'm going to use show only when use background is true. So sure enough, background is set background is true in this case, because we've got it in detail. But out here in sheet 3, 
we haven't used it in our details, so it's null. Um, so that, this way we can, um, I'm just going to plot these uh, averages again. Um, in this case, so we don't, we still have a XY chart, but no background. So if in our uh, dashboard we want to put those in here, we can add these in. Um, so the background only shows up in the one uh, in the one chart. Let me just shrink that down a bit. Makes it a little more square. So in summary, we've created a sheet. Uh, with po defined polygons, with data associated to them, we've defined a background image, um, and we've added a secondary uh, chart with the same axis to add the labels in. We've also set a variable to define if the background is to be used in, uh, in each sheet, and defined a dashboard to display the data. Thank you very much.